<laughs> All of a sudden, Kentucky is a one-loss team that has a chance at the BCS title. It's true. You have to throw that out there after they, after they beat LSU. It's here from both coaches, Urban Meyer and Rich Brooks. Rich was a very good friend of mine, and I saw that, you know, every year we'd joke around. He said, I'm back and at the SEC meetings, and, and I think everybody in that room knew if he kept coming back, if they'd give him that opportunity to keep coaching, that you'd see that develop. Because they're young. It'd be different if those were all old players. But those were all young players two years ago when we played them up there. It's just another typical, very difficult SEC game against a team that we haven't beaten in so long. Uh, these players uh, that I'm coaching really weren't born, I don't think. So uh, hopefully they won't remember too much about that streak. Florida owns a 20-game winning streak over Kentucky. That's the third mm -hmm. longest active streak in an ongoing series in Major Division I football. So wow. that's important to keep in mind when you look at this game. Let's admit something. Florida's offense is better than LSU's. Is that going to be the biggest issue for Kentucky? Well, I don't know if it's necessarily better than all LSU's. Better passing, you know, better running out of, out of uh, maybe the quarterback Tebow. But Perilu, they put him in there. But the difference is going to be the passing game. That's where you've seen a change, especially when you look at the losses by Florida. Two losses, the passing, 100 yards less in the passing game for Tebow than in the wins they've had. So you definitely got to stop him running the ball. But he's going to take his shots downfield. He's got his receivers all back now. And they've had a, a week off. But do you look at this football team coming off of two losses, and then they had a tragedy off the field. Yeah. So there's a lot going on with this Florida football team. you got to go on the road and face a team that you have just whip uh, routinely uh, each year. I think you make a great point right there. I think a lot of this game is going to be about emotion. And partly, you mentioned Florida, but I think the fact that they had a week off was really important for mm -hmm. their team. And two losses, they get a chance to regroup with their youth. And secondly, how about Kentucky? I mean, after those two emotional games, of course, the one loss, then the big win, how do they respond? Of course, Woodson did outstanding. The offensive line was outstanding. But I just want to say this about Florida. All the questions we had about the Gators at the start of the season are starting to rear their ugly head. Tim Tebow in the last two games, both losses, has thrown for 100 yards less than he'd averaged in the wins. Defensively, they've allowed 20 points or more the last five weeks. The point is this. The Gators do have issues. But that week off, I think they win the game because they have the week off. And Kentucky, at some point, it's got to catch up with them. I mean, they play playing these emotional games week after week after week. We're caught up with them with South Carolina. Yeah. I, I agree, but that's the SEC, and you understand. Week in, they week gave out. Two you're going to have South Carolina. Game. Exactly. They gave them two touchdowns. But and also, Trev, you've lost 20 straight games. At some point, you got to be tired of taking our ass kicking. I agree with that. Yeah, he loves that logic. Raphael Little, <laughs> who was out on Saturday, it is a big hole for them to fill. Now, Coach Brooks mm -hmm. tells me earlier this week that even though it is a loss, he's got plenty of competent backups. But I think not yeah. having Raphael Little is going to be a problem. And I, I agree disagree with, with you. Dixon, I think Florida's going to win this game. Dixon, like yeah. they got three, four backs that are averaging about six yards yeah. of curry. And they didn't need him against the exactly. nation's number Raphael one Little. defense. I don't think Florida's anywhere right. near as good as LSU's defense. It's the Chick-fil-A SEC tailgate live from Lexington, 14th ranked Florida on the road. Will they lose their third consecutive game to one of the hottest teams in the country, eighth ranked Kentucky? We will be live at 12 o'clock Eastern. Join me, David Pollock, and Tim couch for the Chick-fil-A SEC tailgate Saturday at noon. And we're there because of this. It's the SEC on CBS Sports. It's putty. Will they actually get it done again? Will they do it? Will they get closer to a BCS championship game which so many people in Lexington believe will happen? Join Vernon Gary for Florida, Kentucky Saturday at 3.30 Eastern.